So I've got all my scrap aluminium out and I'm going to have a go at these new aluminium arc weld rods. But before I do that, I feel like I've got some unfinished business with these aluminium brazing rods. So this is not my first go at this. Uh, you can see my other go of it. I'll put it up in the corner or whatever. I've still got leftover rods from the first time. So these are all going to be the same. No differences there. And I still have plenty of the off-cut aluminium pieces. I've got the angle, the flat bars, and all the big plates. So last time I got a lot of criticism and a lot of good advice. I got some shit comments too, but I'm happy just for you to be watching. I do truly appreciate all the comments I get. This bloke's telling me to turn the heat down, pull away. That's quite a common one. Turbo Conquering Mega Eagles there. G'day, shout out to him. Uh, clean the surface with a wire brush. This guy's talking about the heat dissipating through the aluminium too quickly, which uh, is a smart point. This guy's saying that uh, the map gas torch might be a little bit too hot for what I'm trying to do. And this gla here reckons that the materials I've got are steel and you can see rust on them and they're not aluminium, but whatever floats your boat, mate. Another vote for lowering the temperature on the torch. So, based on all the feedback, here's the things I'm going to do different. I'm going to insulate the workpiece from the vise to make sure it doesn't become a massive heat sink. I'm going to use the torch on a lower setting. And I'm going to step up my weld prep. I'm going to, last time I just used the flap disc, this time I'm going to use wire brush, sandpaper, and then the acetone. So, what we have here, I've got two offcuts of a refractory brick, which I took from our mini forge project. I've got the two pieces of aluminium, small pieces. This here is to make sure my vise doesn't become a heat sink. That was one of the main complaints. As you can see, I wire brush, sanded, and chemically cleaned these, ready for welding. So we'll give it another go this time and see what happens. All right, so I've got map gas again, same canister as last time. And I'll start from here. If you look closely, it actually starts to work here a little bit. But obviously, it's still too cold and it'll heat up a bit more. And it was at this point where she started just going in buttery smooth. So I knew I was having a bit of success. And it's actually working. I was very surprised. Compared to last time, I've not had another go in between. So straight away from all the failure I had last time, a few tips, and here I am now. But the rod did stop working. It worked for a little minute and then just stopped working. So obviously I still got a few heat issues going on. So now set up, I've got a little bit of pipe and a little bit of angle, essentially like this. I'm gonna try and run a bead along there. That'll allow me to put something in there and see how strong these are since I finally got them working. So essentially I learned then that you can't you can't heat it up then go. You lose once you hit that sweet spot of heat, you've just gotta run it in the bead. So I had to keep the flame on it, otherwise it was just cooling down faster than I could apply it then. But by the looks of that, again, we'll let this one cool down. Looks like a might be a ripper. So the first one's cooled down and for the most part it looks pretty good. 
It's got some rough edges on it and a bit of overlay, but I think you could sand and clean this up if you really needed to. As for strength, it's surprisingly strong. I'm trying to rip it open here and I'm bending the parent metals before I'm even coming close to budging the join. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to bend both pieces surrounding the join out to make sort of handles so I've got a bit of leverage on it. And even here, I'm giving it everything i got. This little bit of join, just, it doesn't, doesn't move, nothing. So this is the, the tube on the bit of angle after I threw it through the buff wheel. Comes up okay, there's a lot of pitting in it and stuff. So, uh, But I think if you were to make it thicker and lay it on multiple layers and take it back, uh, for this use case, you'd then you'd you know you wouldn't use brazing. You'd use proper welding if you want something to look proper nice. But it's not a terrible terrible result. So I've only welded this thing on one side, and I've got this old spade bit. I'm going to jam it in there, and just with the one side, I'll see if it can bust it. And again, the parent metal was given away before before the joint even. I can, I can I can bend it, but I can't change it. Can't break it. Quite impressed. So hot off the back of those last few successes, I decided to have another go at the can. And I immediately failed the first time, so I scale it right back. And I almost, almost get this one to work, but then at the last minute it just gives up. Trouble is, ever since this virus hit, no one else wants to drink this shit, so... I get it for cheap, and I don't have a whole lot of cans on hand. So what I've done is I've decided to recreate the can bottom, but with an actual piece of aluminium. So it's a little bit thicker, and I've got a little bit more room for leadway to see whether it's something I'm doing wrong, or just these rods aren't good enough for this purpose. This bit of flat bar, it's it's not that thick. I think it's it's one 1.6 mil. Yeah, 1.6 mil, and it's uh. Yeah, it's thicker than a can, but not too thick. So what I just noticed here was, is the piece of bar actually started to deteriorate and bend under the heat before the rod did. So while I was trying to test it and rub it on the piece the whole time, the piece might have been hot enough, but because the rod was so cold, it had to be brought up to temperature first. And I know you're not supposed to heat the rod, but that little bit of preheating made it go in and made it work really well. So maybe I'll give that another go on the can. All right, here goes nothing. Hopefully Coke's got a little bit of a thicker bottom to it. Let's give this one a crack. And here we have some success, a hole plugged. I did notice that I was maybe overheating the rod in the first place, but look at the job, job done. Winner winner, chicken dinner. So I was just cutting these two bits of tube here to try and join them together. And a bit of this aluminium shard just came off and smashed me straight in the eye. And I was wearing safety glasses, funny enough, but they were on top of me head and they weren't on me eyes. So maybe it's time that uh, old safety style sent me a few free pairs so I've got more, eh? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So I've got these two cleaned up and I've put them in the vise here. Uh, my little, the little vise that could, the jaws don't quite open up long enough. So 
I had to give away a warning slider. But hopefully we'll be able to heat this up good enough. So all in all, I've done a complete 180 on these things. They're not as easy as the advertisements you'll see on social media will tell you are, but at the end of the day, you don't get half a bad result. Like, it'll get you out of a jam. Uh, this is the tube I polished up afterwards. It doesn't look the nicest, but the job's been done. They're strong enough. I don't really have any complaints. If anything, this is the perfect reason why I made videos in the first place. Get feedback in the comments section. So, thanks. Worked out. Real happy with the result. Now I'm really excited to pull out the arc welder and uh, use the big boy rods tomorrow. As always, thanks for watching. Leave your comments, abuse, tips, tricks, and random bullshit down below. Thanks.